Yeah, Bang Bang Roll. Anybody remember the 90s? The 90s, 93, up to 97, 98. Um, I used to go to all the clubs. I used to go to all the clubs, mate. Power drives, but then his bootleggers, browns, everything, yeah? Uh, me, Ray Sullivan, Nigel Ben, Mickey Gooch, Black Eddie, Nobby Griffiths, Wayne Sleep. Loads of us, honestly, always go to the clubs and have really good times. Go to Browns, I mean, Browns was like one of the top clubs we used to go to, meet Jake Brown. Jake used to like me, Jake. And I used to, I used to see Elton John there quite a lot. Don't know what Elton John was up to, but I know he was on the nose, but I don't know where he was getting it from, but he used to love it there, mate. It was crazy on, on, the, on the stuff, uh, Elton John. But still, it's, you know, it's his own thing. Let him do his own thing, mate. You know, but he's he had a good time. I mean, we used to go in there, straight upstairs, straight upstairs to the VIP. Yeah, I met Ray Sullivan. I mean, I like Ray Sullivan. Even though Nigel Ben and Ray Sullivan fell out, you know, Nigel Ben was he with a nice bucket or an ashtray. But Ray Sullivan and Nigel Ben was really, really close there. Yeah? So close. I met, I met, um, I mean, not, when I met uh, Ray Sullivan, he was down at a place called uh, Ticket Drone in Tottenham Court Road. He had one in uh, Chelsea as well. He used to sell the tickets. And I had a couple of Rolexes for sale, and I went down to see Ray. Ray loved the Rolex, didn't like the Rolex I had. I had, the ones are too I had, but he loved Rolexes. Give you good money for proper nice ones, but the ones I had was just old, you know. But he was a nice, nice man. I met um, Tracy, his wife and the daughter, uh, down Abbey Road. And uh, Nigel, uh, Ray Sullivan, a, a beautiful flat there. He used to collect red glass, yeah? Really, really expensive glass. Yeah, Tracy was really nice, Tracy. I met her a couple of times, years before that, uh, with um, Jamie Foreman. Uh, Jamie Foreman, uh, Freddie Foreman's son. Met him with, with him. Uh, and uh, I think Jamie Foreman was going out with, with a, a, a girl called Linda. Linda became a high court judge. I think Jamie Foreman gave her a baby, if I remember rightly, but she used to love me, uh, Linda. She liked me a lot. She was a judge. You know, she was, wasn't a judge then. She was just a bar student, then, I think. But she became a top, top judge, yeah? Yeah, Nigel. Um, I, was, I met Nigel, really, down uh, the Barbican. I was going to a club called the Barbican. I was always there early in the mornings and with another guy, um, Gary Stretch, not Gary Stretch, Gary Kendall. Gary Kendall was a uh, Mr. Mr. Universe. I think he um, used to give me uh, steroids. He used to give me jabs downstairs in the toilet. He, oh, mate, he'd give me some. But that's when I first started doing it, yeah. Uh, met Nigel. Nigel Ben come down here. He was with Am Ambrose Menzies then. And Nigel went, he said, do you know what, mate? He said, you're one of the biggest guys I've ever seen. I was massive. I was really big. I was, what, 19 and I was starting really muscular, yeah? Really big, really muscular. Uh, but Nigel Ben, I mean, when he trained, he trained, it, yeah? He was such a good trainer. There was people up there from the Olympics, people up there, and they was training. And Nigel Ben made them look so stupid. I mean, when it was all sort of like trying to be flashy in front of Nigel, Nigel just... Walked over them, mate. He was so good. Sit up. He was fantastic, you know what I mean? And he was like moving about, shadow boxing. He was brilliant to watch. I used to love watching him, Nigel. Yeah, and then and then we got to the clubs. Met Nigel at the clubs, Power Joe's, for Dancy's Bootleggers, Browns, all these clubs. That we used to, Browns was one of the top clubs we used to go to. Uh, we used to go straight through the front door, upstairs to the VIP. Uh, Jake Brown used to like us, Jake. He was a nice fellow, mate. I like old Jake. Uh, but my mate, the best mate I had was Gucci Mickey Gooch. Loved him, man. A right nice guy. He looked after me. He really looked after me, yeah? Same with a guy called Nobby Griffiths. Nobby Griffiths. Uh, he lived in Chiswick. Any, I mean, anybody who was around in them clubs in them days must be remember Nobby Griffiths. Uh, you go back to his house after the clubs, big parties, you know, yeah, it's lovely, mate. I used, I used to go there, but I was so tired up to go home. Because I don't drink, didn't smoke, didn't take drugs. Just, I had to go home after that, yeah. But all them people, I remember, mate, some good, good times. You know, uh, Black Eddie. Black Eddie, nice fellow, Black Eddie. Uh, 
why is it all these people have gone, man? You don't hear about them no more. You know, shame. It's a big shame, yeah. Uh, what a guy that I was talking to about uh, to someone the other day, yeah, black guy, a uh, very very dangerous black guy, and uh, his name was Jimmy Bish. Yeah, I was away with Jimmy Bish in the scrubs in the early days, and Jimmy Bish was a very very dangerous man, mate. If Jimmy Bish was on the move, if you see him on the move, and he was going to stab someone up without shadow of doubt, if he was moving about, Jim, he was going to stab someone and just stab him up bad. You know, Jimmy Bish never stepped too, too much of this. It was plunged, but he could have a fight. I see Jimmy Bish on the landing, have a fight with someone, and he did really, really hurt him, but he plunged the guy uh, with, with a plastic knife as well. But that's Jimmy Bish, what Bish did. Jimmy Bish did. He was a dangerous man, mate, Jimmy Bish, but rest in peace, Jimmy Bish. I used to like him. Proper guy, mate. Big, big respect to him. And me and him was quite powers, really. Yeah, but all them ones, what's happened to all my mates? I don't know what's happened to them, mate. They've all gone. You don't really, really hear, hear, hear about them no more. And, I mean, when I was with a girl called Danny, Danny Johnson, and I met her, the first time I met, ever met Danny, uh, I didn't take a lot of notice. I was down at a place called Langens. Langens used to be a big restaurant owned by Richard Shepherd and Michael Kane, and... Michael Kane, Richard Shepard used to come up to our tables. They always used to talk to Nigel Ben, uh, Gary Stretch, you know, and Rolex Ray. You know, I think uh, Michael Kane bought a Rolex off of Ray as well, Ray Sullivan. Yeah, I remember all the days, man, fantastic days. What's ever happened to them? They're all gone, mate. They're never going to be again, you know what I mean? But all my pals, I just like to say hello to anybody watching me. Anybody watching... Uh, my video, uh, remembers right a lot, let us know what you know, yeah? Take care, nice one, bye.